CBC News has learned that police in Newfoundland and Labrador spent $91,000 to charter a private jet to fly a murder suspect from Calgary to St. John's three months ago. That information is coming from documents obtained by CBC News through an access to information request. Let's bring in the CBC's Ariana Kelland in St. John's this morning to tell us more. Good morning. Thanks for joining us on this, Ariana. What more can you tell us about this case? Good morning, Jennifer. Yes, so the RNC issued a Canada-wide warrant for 27-year-old Sheldon Hibbs in February. Now, at the time, they suspected that he was in Calgary, which it turns out he was, and the Calgary Police Service issued that warrant, arresting him the next month in March. So the RNC sent two officers up to retrieve Hibbs and bring him back to Newfoundland and Labrador, but a spokesperson from the RNC says that they ran into issues when they got Hibbs on the flight and that he ended up being banned from commercial travel. Now, CBC News has learned that he was unruly and that they were actually on the flight and that they had to deboard with those two officers and Hibbs. Documents obtained through access to information show that the RNC were really scrambling to get Hibbs back to Newfoundland and Labrador, at one point even considering paying over $130,000 for a WestJet Boeing 737. Now, in the end, they did uh, hire Ebus Air based out of Gander at a cost, as you said, of over $91,000. Ariana, why the rush to get him back, especially at such a steep cost to taxpayers? The internal documents that we obtained shows that there was a lot of back and forth between the RNC and the provincial government, and the RNC's concerns were pretty clear. They were concerned that by holding Sheldon Hibbs any longer, they could be seen as unlawfully detaining him. Now, as I mentioned, the Calgary Police Service had arrested Hibbs in Calgary, but the RNC says that they had to actually lay the charge back here in Newfoundland and Labrador, and that the law states that they must do that within six Six days. Now, the RCMP does have a plane for this very purpose for transferring inmates in police custody. A spokesperson from that police force says that they were concerned that they would not get him back in Newfoundland in time, so they ended up getting this private charter. Now, Michael Arnfield is a criminology professor with Western University. He's also a former police officer. He says that this case is very unusual. Well, I can't speak to the uh, budget of the RNC uh, or how it disperses its, its, its funds normally. Um, but I, I can tell you an, an expenditure like this with a municipal uh, police service uh, would be um, sharply scrutinized. Now, the RNC says that it did get Sheldon Hibbs back in time within those six days. And meanwhile, he is expected to be in court next week, where it's expected that he will enter a plea to second-degree murder. Thank you for this, Ariana Kelland in St. John's.